Welcome everyone to the Stadio degli Alpi, where tonight Rangers will discover just how far they've climbed in European terms. And the Juventus team you see there, well, they're confident they can scale the very heights and win the European Cup next May. And there's the tactical lineup. And uh, Marcello Lippi, the coach, has made a few changes. Uh, Takinardi has uh, been put onto the bench tonight, the international sweeper. And uh, Passato, another seasoned defender, also dropping to the bench. But, uh, the Rangers team, no real surprises there because of the injury situation. I spoke to Walter Smith this afternoon. And he told me that Gordon Jury will operate uh, wide right, but uh, will lie fairly deep and uh, support the midfield. And of course, Ali McCoy and Oleg Salenko teaming up. Salenko for his first European game in Rangers colours. Well, alongside me is uh, Joe Jordan, who of course played out here for Milan and Verona and uh, was Scotland's World Cup striker. Hi, Jerry. Well, we've got a fantastic atmosphere in the stadium tonight. And what you've already mentioned there about Walter Smith having them, some uh, changes forced upon him. And that applies to Marcello Lippi as well. And I think the big question is coming into what can arguably the Rangers have this game in the, the league programme in the, the European League. Is it what is, uh, is the strength of his team, or his squad, we should say? You know, they are without a number of players in Miller, Ferguson, Loudrop, McLaren, and Gascoigne. But you've also got to remember that uh, Juventus are without some quality players as well in Lombard and Viali and Jugovic and Padovana. So I think what we have is a situation of what team is best equipped or what squad is best equipped coming into such a, a massive game. Well, the referee just getting everything settled down. There's uh, Del Livio who will operate on the right-hand side and uh, Del Piero there uh, who will carry such a threat to Rangers. The referee tonight is Varian Zuc from Belarus. He's 43 years of age, a lawyer who speaks English and Russian. He's been a FIFA official now since uh, 1989. And a big night for Ali McCoy, uh, seeking his first Champions League goal. He has scored 12 European goals for Rangers, uh, which is a joint record with Ralph Brand. And uh, there's uh, Stuart McCall. He'll be very influential in midfield. And Solanco, as I mentioned, a man coming in now uh, to try and prove that uh, Rangers got it right by splashing out uh, over £2 million pounds for him. There's the match official. Vadim Juk, uh, 32 international matches he's handled, so uh, experienced official. Uh, Juventus going into this match uh, on a maximum six points after their 3-1 uh, win against Dortmund and 3-0 uh, against Steyr. And uh, the match gets underway now. Rangers with a lot to do, just a one point uh, so far. Anything they can take from here tonight uh, would be a tremendous achievement. So a noisy crowd. Uh, filling the magnificent stadium. This was finished uh, just in time for the 1990 World Cup. Uh, Juventus actually moved out for some games last season. Uh, they'd fallen out uh, with the stadium owners, but uh, that's all resolved. This is Conti now playing it through. And an early chance and a great save. And it's got him again. Well, first of all from Ravinelli, and then Delivio to it on the far side. Well, Andy got him two magnificent saves. Fabrizio Ravinelli, first of all. Running in on that ball from Conte. Great one-handed save, and then Delivio come racing in, and it was got him again. Well, Delivio scored in one of the earlier matches from that exact position. It had to be a superb save from Gorham. Well, a fantastic start in, in, in Gorham, who's going to be a, a very influential figure tonight, Jerry. I mean, Ravinelli, he said that the ball was, it was hidden for the far corner. And not only was his first save good, but his reaction getting up, getting across his goals and being in a position to get to foot to uh, what resulted in the corner. But uh, that is an early score for Rangers and they've survived. I think I'd like to add it as well before we go on. It's important that the Rangers defence does um, get the pressure taken off. And that puts a lot of responsibility on Isalenko and Ali McCoy's. You know, they've got to hold the ball up there and allow Rangers to get a breather. And, well, with the three players uh, pushed forward tonight, uh, Rangers have got to try and get some pressure on this Juventus defence. Gordon Jury will push forward at every opportunity to support uh, McCoyst and Salenko. And uh, Stephen Wright will also push forward along with uh, David Robertson from the full-back positions. Now, Andy Gorham, as he's done so often for Rangers in the past, 
making vital early saves. And again, it uh, just serves to emphasise the quality of this side. It's Ravanelli again, Goffs with him. I think uh, <coughs> prior to the game, a lot of people were talking about Del Piero. Uh, I don't think it can be forgotten what uh, Ravanelli has achieved this season, and especially last season when he was one of the most uh, important players in the, the championship team. He, he's, he's a very important player for this team. He's, he epitomises the way that the, champ the championship was won for Juventus last year. He never gives up any causes, and he can score goals as well. And, uh, Del Piero is a player who will drift down the left-hand side, and what Rangers have got to watch is his ability to whip the ball onto his right foot and uh, put high balls over the goalkeeper from the edge of the penalty area. He's managed it in the previous two Champions League ties. So Andy Gorham will have been well warned by Walter Smith to look out for that particular ploy. This is Craig Moore sending it through. But, uh, the flag has gone up just below us. The referee uh, has, in fact, spotted the linesman signal. And there's Marcello Lippi, who says that uh, he would trade uh, this coming season's championship to win the European Cup. That's his great ambition now. This is Torricelli. Del Piero. Ravanelli. Looking for Del Piero again. It's just kept in play. Great skills again. Sending it over looking for Ravanelli. The Rangers struggling to clear here. And that was Deschamps, sending the ball over the top. So uh, Walter Smith with uh, plenty to think about in these early stages. Archie Knox is about alongside him. And uh, Walter Smith uh, said to me this afternoon that uh, the other match being played tonight uh, between Dortmund and Steyer, also vital to the Rangers' cause. And if that one could end in a draw, and the uh, Rangers can take something from the two games against Juventus, it would put them very much back in business but at the moment they must concentrate on the task in hand and this is Gordon Petric swinging the high one forward but, uh, Salento very much alone figure this is Moreno Torricelli it's left by Deschamps cut out by Petric now it's Craig Moore well, a slight one by him we just can't afford that that was a big failing in Bucharest a few weeks ago. Rangers continually gave the ball away, but here's a promising run by Jury with uh, five minutes played and still no scoring yet. Yeah, I'll pick you up on that point there, Jerry. You're talking about giving the ball away. You certainly can't give it away against opposition like we have this evening. And uh, Rangers were criticised in their previous away game, and hopefully they'll have learned their lesson from that. Possession must be retained. Uh, they must take the heat out of the game when it's necessary and pick up the pace when it's needed. And it's a shot going in from Alessandro Del Piero. Comfortably taken this time by Andy Gorham. And again, you see him uh, drifting in from the left and uh, gets the ball onto the right foot. And uh, fortunately for Rangers, there was no real power in it. Two Champions League goals he has so far. This is Stephen Wright. McCoy, Salenko. Again, Rangers failing to build any play and the decision now goes Juventus way or they throw it's Torricelli Jakovod that's Sosa the Portuguese player Deschamps from France Didier Deschamps played against Rangers in the Champions League for Marseille three years ago. Still Juventus have it. It's Torricelli. And to tee it up, but that's a slack one. Salenko lays it off, gives it away again. It's Petric who steps in for Rangers. It's Torricelli. Jakobot. Souza. Delibio starts a run. And the controller's under a bit of pressure, but uh, Gorham's there. But uh, there's no doubt Angelo Di Livio, who delivered uh, one of those shots saved by Gorham in the earlier stages, will be a major threat. He scored against uh, Stoya. A 
Barca, Conte picking up the play. This is Torricelli. Slid off by Deschamps. Picked up by Souza. It's Cleland. Out to McCoist. Again, the pass filling to reach Solenko. And uh, Juventus defending comfortably. Uh, when Rangers do get forward. Quickly taken by Sergio Porini. Suzanne so sends it across now to Torricelli. Suzanne so again. This is Ferrara. Del Piero now. Well, trying to stay with the motor. That's good there. Getting the ball in. Pass got him. But again, twisting and turning and uh, useful with both feet. And the man, the Rangers, will really have to keep a close eye on all evening. Yeah, he showed in two occasions already. He's had three shots in target. Uh, the first one, uh, well, both of them really, including that one, has been saved. But he's already shown, uh, not only has he got a right finish, but Peter hit to his left as well. Well, the flag has gone up. He does look uh, a very exciting player, um, Del Piero. Um, you consider how young he is and the atmosphere that's, that's in this stadium tonight. Uh, I think all, all the players have settled down a little bit after uh, the first uh, five minutes of nerves. And uh, at this moment, the Rangers have just camped in and uh, Juventus are retaining possession. Switch of play now by Paolo Souza. Olivier races forward again. It's way to select call. He wants to control it though. We come back, Conte. This is Deschamps. Forward comes Moreno Torricelli. It's headed away by Petric. The Rangers cannot get out of their own half. Again by Souza. By Delibio. This is Deschamps. Del Piero. So ten minutes gone here. Still no scoring. Thanks to two wonderful saves by Andy Gorham in the opening minutes. And here come Juventus again and slack play by Rangers allowing them forward. Again, Rangers finding it very difficult to retain possession, but uh, they get a breather there with the free kick awarded against uh, Ferrara on his foul on McCoyst. That's a, that's a timely breed, I mean. Prior to that, Rangers had two opportunities to, to retain possession up in the half really. And once with Ali McCoyst, one with, with Salenko, and it broke down. So that means it's a continual uh, barrage on, on the, the Rangers' uh, defence. And, and really, the, the players up front have got to hold the ball in and, and give them that breather. This is Didier Deschamps. Souza. Piero. And Juventus patient in the build up. It's Delibio. Ravinelli. Here goes to meet him. And Juventus holding the ball comfortably. Torricelli again pushes forward on that left hand side. Uh, Delivio comes in and got him there at uh, full stretch, and that's a corner kick. Well, Delivio coming right across the range of defence as uh, Torricelli delivered the ball. And again, it was Andy Gorham who had to get down smartly. Torricelli just having a little look and uh, sending the ball into that space. Delivio had come right across the defence. Del Piero takes it. It's Gorham punching it away. Not convincingly, though. Uh, as the ball goes into the net, the referee and uh, spotted infringement. And the free kick to Rangers. Again, Delivio showing the danger he carries. 29 years of age. He's in his third season here. So we touch. He's 
these early stages for Peruzzi, the defenders' goalkeeper. Torricelli being uh, pressured by Salento, but uh, dealing with it comfortably. It's been said many times here, yeah, but the first 20 minutes of a match, and it, it's no different here tonight. It's, uh, if you can get through the first 20 minutes, settle down, and get your, your own pass and going, especially away from home, it's so important. And the has have shown in these opening 15 minutes that uh, they're up for it tonight. And it will be important that, that Rangers retain that clean sheet uh, as long as possible. At this uh, stage of the tournament, uh, there's no uh, away goals counting double anything like that. So uh, Rangers must attack as much as possible tonight and attempt to take something away from this game. But the early signals uh, are very much against them. This is Souza looking for Rivenelli. It's cut out though by Moore. And it's slipped there by David Robertson. The Juventus push forward again. It's Delibio. Del Piero. And showing lovely skill. And uh, the referee awards the free kick against Alec Cleland. It's another testing moment coming up for Andy Gorham. We mentioned uh, the right foot of Del Piero earlier. And uh, obviously, many of you saw the game at the San Siro the other day. He was getting into the byline late on as well and uh, crossing effectively with his left. But so many of these players carry such a threat from the set pieces. So Gorham gets himself ready. Rabinelli is hovering over the ball. Del Piero is there as well. He's quite happy now with the defensive ball. It's Ravanelli driving it through. And Gorham completely caught there as the ball went right through the wall. 15 minutes gone. And Ravanelli gives Juventus the lead. And Andy Gorham had no chance, got absolutely flat footed as the ball came through the defensive wall, took the deflection off Craig Moore. And that's a real blow now for Rangers after uh, surviving those earlier attempts. Andy Gorham must be absolutely sick having made two great saves. The ball coming off Craig Moore and completely wrong footing the goalkeeper. Uh, as you can see, Andy is a little bit displeased with his, his defensive wall and really so there. You know how dangerous these guys are. And it's not a coincidence that a lot of goals come from set pieces. A lot of games are decided on set pieces. But that one there, it could have been prevented. I mean, it, it's, it's a decent enough shot, but it's right into the barrier. And uh, I'm afraid that the barrier is, uh, is not helped Danny Gorham tonight. It's failed in its duty. And to the cost, it's uh, an open goal. It's the last thing that you want at this moment in time. Just when Rangers were just settling down to play the, the fluent play. So Rabinelli gets his uh, second Champions League goal. He also scored against Stoya. It's going to be a real test of character now for Rangers. Here's Del Piero. And it's uh, Petrich who gets a touch, but uh, Ravanelli has it. That's got him a full stretch, and it's Conte! <laughs> 16 minutes gone, two goals in a minute, and Antonio Conte makes it 2-0 to Juventus, and it's his second Champions League goal. Well, it was initially started with Del Piero. He's, he's turned Petrich. The ball is landed off the break from Ravenelli, who's chipped the ball in and Conte's gone in front of the Rangers defenders. It's very important now that, that the Rangers team just get a grip of themselves, just slow it down and just try and weather the storm. Just get a grip of the ball, retain possession and try and get some formation back and get their shape back because if they don't, Juventus will come on again strong and they'll try and go and get a third goal and then it will, but it'll be, it'll be good night. At this moment in time, they've just got to get their composure back into their game. Uh, remember, uh, you see the celebrations there, but I remember Rangers uh, crashing 5-0 in Germany a number of years ago. And against Cologne, they were four down in 20 minutes. They certainly don't want a repeat of that. But uh, what a dreadful start by the Ibrook side. 
Andy Gorham had given them a lifeline, but uh, they're now trailed by two goals to nil. And uh, Gordon Jury is uh, on the deck and will require some treatment. Well, at this stage, we must imagine what it might have been like if the alley had played. There's uh, Sean Connery, who's an interested spectator, and uh, David Murray, the Rangers chairman, alongside him. Rather glum as you would expect, and this looks uh, serious for Gordon Jury. So nothing going right for Rangers. The man who scored the important goal for them against the Norfolk's, which uh, carried them into the Champions League, is uh, leaving the field. Rangers have Ian Durant, uh, John Brown, Neil Murray, and Gary Bowen as their uh, outfield substitutes. But, uh, down rather heavily there, the Gordon Jury. Sad moment for the player and his club as he goes off. And uh, the match about to restart with the free kick. So Rangers really have to get something back quickly. McCall sends it in. Petrich is up there, but uh, the offside flag has gone up. Uh, uh, Juventus got the ball away through Farini. The offside flag was raised. So a free kick to Juventus. And uh, just below us, the uh, Rangers substitutes continue to warm up. Walter Smith meanwhile is out uh, rearranging things as uh, Jury receives some treatment. This is uh, Souza. Jacobot plays it through now to Torricelli. He's trying to pick out Conte. Here's Del Piero. It's Souza. Del Livio. Robertson's with him. Back it goes to Souza. Conte leaves it on. Souza again. Yep, the ball. It's a slap one by him. Cut out by McCall, but uh, McCoyst is very much up there on his own. Salento have drifted back. Still, Rangers have to get some pressure on Angelo Peruzzi, the Juventus goalkeeper. He said uh, practically nothing to do since kickoff time. And here again is Torricelli trying pushing forward to the left side. Station. Souza. So that's 20 minutes gone. Juventus 2, Rangers 0. Ravanelli and Conte, the scorers. And here come uh, Juventus again. Torricelli calls for it on the far side, but uh, that's cut out by Stephen Wright. Put away by Gordon Jury, who's come back onto the field. So Rangers back to full complement. What is it for this, Jerry? Is it, is it two front guys? Ravanelli, Del Piero. For the first 20 minutes, they ain't stopped moving, but the runs uh, with the ball, but especially off the ball, have been fantastic. Their, their constant movement, uh, they've given the, the two markers an extremely hard team. There's another, there's another one, that's Ravinelli again, bringing over Gorham. Well, that was uh, Petrich who got it away. But again, Juventus just waltzing through the Rangers defence, and it was Gordon Petrich who saved a third one going in, Ravinelli clipping the ball over Andy Gorham. The way that they're playing, the way the two front guys are playing, it's taken really the best part of five Rangers players to mark them. You've got Del Piero going out on the right wing and, and being marked there. You know, that there are two players in the top of the floor. Savinelli again playing it through. Torricelli is well forward again. That's Craig Moore who scrambles it clear. And the Rangers being given a real football lesson. Was uh, Del Piero playing a delightful little ball through to Navanelli? He clipped it over Andy Gorham, and it was Petrich who came in. Gorham got his hand to it, and Petrich cleared. And now uh, Craig Moore has conceded a free kick against Del Piero, right on the edge of the penalty area. Well, it's going to be a long, hard night, Joe. It is. Uh, I mean, the, f the first piece of work was, was brilliant skill. The second piece of work. He's a very cunning player. He's lost the ball 
But uh, young in years he may be, but the experience and not to handle a situation like that, he's done it to the full and he's gained himself and his team a free kick in a very, very dangerous position. Del Piero, flipping it through and well, the ball drops in and the uh, linesman is flagged but the goal has been given. Well, 23 minutes gone, it's 3 0 to Juventus. The linesman's flag and got up on the far side and he took it down immediately. The referee pointed back towards the centre spot. And that's exactly what I've been warning about the early stages. That's the third time he's scored that type of goal right into that corner. Andy Gorham must have been well warned about the right foot of this man. He can curl him in from that right side of the penalty area. Right into the corner, he does it again. So it's Ravinelli, it's Conte, and it's Del Piero, and it's Juventus 3, Rangers 0. And we're just midway through the first half. looking as if they're on a real hiding here tonight and uh, there's just no sign of them being able to stop the champions of Serie A well when you think of the money that Rangers have spent in recent years and the way they've dominated the Scottish game and yet as you watch this ball drop over Gorham they're 3-0 down Referee spotted the linesman's flag as uh, that uh, ball went in, but uh, obviously there was a change of mind. It was uh, brilliantly struck by Del Piero. Uh, the referee steps in and he shows the yellow card. Gordon Jury. And uh, that means, in fact, that uh, Jury picks up a second booking and he misses the return game at Ibrox. There's a confirmation of that coming up. So, Gordon Jury going in hard there on Deschamps. The referee immediately produced the yellow card, so that's him out of the game at Ibrox in a couple of weeks' time to add to Rangers' night of war so far. Uh, we're certainly smarting after the defeat in Milan the other day and uh, they're really taking it out Rangers tonight so that's uh, 25 minutes gone here at the Stadio Deli Alpi and it's Juventus 3 Rangers 0 well, there's always a fear of this uh, happening tonight and, uh, Juventus have really gone for it sufficient space and uh, there's uh, Marcello Lippi will be absolutely delighted that his men are on course to take uh, nine points out of a possible nine it's just a matter now of uh, how much pride Rangers can save from this occasion it's not an absolute crowd well, the home fans uh, in full pride uh, Didier Deschamps. He of course lifted the European Cup the years ago. He was the captain of Marseille uh, when they had pit Rangers in what was uh, essentially a semi-final in the velodrome. He's trying to 
trying to thread it through, but breaks away to Sosa. Juventus getting players forward, but uh, in steps Petric. Forward now to Ali McCoist. Selenko, the offside flag has been up as well as played back to Ali McCoist, and there was no power in his shot in any case. So it must be a disparate night already for the Rangers strike force. Uh, looked in horror towards the other end of the pitch and neither Solenko nor McCoyst managing to make any impact on this Juventus defence so uh, an anticipated crowd of some 45,000 tonight uh, 3,500 from Scotland the Rangers fans were certainly making plenty of noise before the game but uh, were reasonably quiet at the moment plays it forward to McCoyst again it's uh, Juventus easily picking up the play so uh, sends it through looking for Rabinelli but the offside flags up on the far side I don't think we should overlook Jerry the fact that uh, Ali McCoyst and Salenko up front there are playing against some of the best markers in the world in the Piero Diekwood there and Ferrara who have they've done it all before they've played it big games, European Cup finals, World Cup finals, they are exceptional players and you know it gives them an opportunity even at their, their later years in Vertwood's case to go and win another honour. They, they've achieved everything but they've shown not only tonight but at the weekend as well how much pride they have. Against Milan they were, they were out fought and out one in the first half but they showed maybe one of the qualities which won them the championship last year was the, the great resilience and the great spirit within the team and that eventually got them into the game at the weekend and they nearly uh, clinched a point and we've seen many qualities from them in the first half hour tonight and uh, they are awesome when they get going and of course you mentioned the quality too of the defenders and uh, Alessio Tacchinardi and uh, Gianluca Fisotto on the bench tonight uh, two players uh, who played a major part for Juventus so it is such a, a strong and talented squad as Rangers are finding out to their cost here's Del Piero Big for Conte, it's uh, headed down by Robertson getting away. Avanelli, here he is again. Steps off, through to McCall. And uh, Selenko losing out there to Ferrara. But uh, the decision goes uh, Rangers way. So there's the story as we come up for the half hour mark. Rangers trailing by three goals to nil. Ravanelli, Conte, and Del Piero, the scorers. Juventus get it away comfortably. They come there by Conte, Delivio, Souza, Deschamps. Looking for Del Piero through the middle and uh, Ravanelli's calling. Uh, he had moved uh, wide left. He was calling for the ball. But uh, was asking just too much of Del Piero. The last couple of minutes, the uh, Rangers have started to come in the game a little bit and been a, as an attacking force. And uh, Robertson had a great opportunity there to, to cross and square a ball to Charlie McCoy. Now, these opportunities could arise and Rangers could be coming out, but what they've got to watch is what uh, Juventus and a lot of Italian teams are good at, is catching them on the break. They're, they're, they're exceptionally quick, and the quality of passing coming out from the defensive position, which they hold at this moment in time, and they've got to be very wary of that. So, Salenko has a chance here, and then comes Jury. He's going to be battling hard, but uh, just too many Juventus players around them. And again, they work it away. Stephen Wright. What a learning process for the likes of uh, Stephen Wright. Right, just 23 years of age. Good excuse. Here's McCoy's coming in now. They're uh, trying to test uh, Ferruzzi. But it uh, was taken comfortably by the goalkeeper. But, uh, lads like uh, Stephen Wright and uh, Craig Moore, who's in possession at the moment, will certainly take many lessons away from an occasion such as this. Has got that Petric. It's had a splendid season for Rangers, flipping it through now, looking for the pace of Robertson. But, uh, on that occasion, they can't control it. Oh, smiles among the home fans. Let 
turned in. And McCoy slips at the final moment. Jury comes in, but uh, Torricelli did enough. However, the referee is awarded the free kick to Rangers. It's quickly taken by McCall. And, uh, the referee wants it retaken. And, uh, McCall hits it against Deschamps. McCall just a bit untidy at the moment. It's McCall again sending it through. Richard Goff had pushed forward. And David Roberts tries the shot. And uh, Rangers get themselves the corner kick. Well, David Robertson was certainly had a couple of openings on that left hand side, but uh, Ferrara was there, the marker. And Rangers have to settle for the corner kick. You see Ferrara doing enough just to block it there. So it's a uh, jury to take it. Uh, Petrich and Goff are up there. It's Petrich who gets a touch. by the shot. Ferrara. Being quite confident, gets it away to Conte. Ravarelli. We just have to get through Petric. This is Robertson. Petric again. Jury. That's Richard Goff. Clellan sweeps it forward. Topples there and comes McCoyst. It's still the deal. There's a lot of uh, running in that right hand side of the field. So that will just flip through looking for Del Piero, but uh, asking too much of him. Marcello Lippi, the Juventus coach. What a story he has to tell. He was uh, sacked a couple of times earlier in his career, but uh, came back strongly. And of course, uh, one day championship uh, with Juventus last season, the first for nine years. And uh, despite the fact uh, they had to sell Roberto Baggio, well, it's not showing too much, is it? No, I think uh, Del Piero, I think the way he came in the mayor's last season, um, I think uh, Lippi and the people at uh, Juventus realised that they had something special here and that allowed them to take the decision to allow Baggio to go to Milan and uh, as we've seen already tonight and in other games this season that uh, Baggio has not been missed and, but we have um, a forward line normally with Viali along with Berth and Ravinelli tonight Viali is missing but um, it's not really weakened them any in, in, the, in the game we've seen so far but of late, and in the last five minutes, I think the game's got a little bit scrappy. Juventus have uh, got a little bit untidy with their passing, and Rangers have uh, capitalised on this a little bit by by getting to the dead ball. And especially Roberts needs an opportunity once or twice to get there and get the balls in. So if Rangers could get a goal uh, just before half time, it would uh, give them a little bit of hope. Well, they've got about ten minutes to achieve that, They're trailing by three goals to nil. Jury who won that ball earlier. There's a run going. And uh, the airport uh, makes the challenge and uh, takes a knock. And, uh, in fact, the free kick has been awarded against Jury. This is Ferrara. Conte. That's Goff trying to get Rangers going again through to Petric. So again, the passing there, not the best. Goff having to chase after that one. I mean, just trying to keep possession, but uh, closed down very quickly by their opponents. Torricelli, Conte. Ferrara plays the long one forward. This, of course, is the stadium where Scotland uh, lost to Brazil, uh, which ended their World Cup camp 
campaign in 1990. And it uh, was also the scene of uh, the famous uh, England game where uh, Paul Gascoigne burst into tears. And there were lots of uh, pictures ready of that to be shown until uh, his injury forced him out uh, the next tie along with uh, Loudrop. Forward, uh, one of the Juventus players is uh, on the deck, and uh, the decision uh, now goes Juventus way. And that was uh, Torricelli, who went down heavily, and uh, he's uh, gone off the field for some treatment. So Juventus have themselves free kick. Oh, uh, Torricelli there is a product of the Juventus uh, youth system. Hard, hard defender, but on um, this occasion, he's the one who's taken the knock. So the play gets underway again as uh, he receives treatment. This is Corini. Uh, the bot. Delivio. Vanelli lays it off to Conte. Goals it uh, wide. There's a man Olivio again, he just fails to keep that one in, but uh, he gets applause from the crowd and uh, there's Torricelli going uh, back onto the field. But, but that was another instance of uh, the selfless running by Angelo Olivio, who operates mainly on the right-hand side. He's not afraid to go back and defend when necessary, but uh, on that occasion coming right across the field. That's laid off now by Deschamps. This is Sosa. Here's Delivio again, still on the left-hand side, floating one in, Rangers under pressure here, and it's Richard Goff who heads behind for the corner kick. Delivio, uh, who was uh, freed by Roma a few years ago, they thought uh, he wouldn't uh, quite make it. Well, he's uh, certainly come back with a vengeance for Juventus. This uh, corner kick against Del Piero. It's Delivio again. There's the overhead uh, kick going in. So Carrara. It's not a bad uh, from a centre back, Jerry, is it? Eh? Coming up like that and in the, in the confidence to show off his ability. So Ciro Ferrara the crowd uh, the defensive marker coming forward to show off his skills and uh, they got him happy to see that one go wide still up by Rabinelli this is Sosa Paul challenges and uh, that's uh, free kick McCall insists that he get the ball but uh, the referee waves away his protests Told there's still no scoring between Borussia Dortmund and uh, Steyr Bucharest that match in Germany tonight in Dortmund. And if it stayed like that, it would certainly help the Rangers' cause, and they need all the help they can get tonight. There are now four minutes left of this first half, plus any stoppage time, and Juventus are leading by three goals to nil. So lead off by Conte, this is Dichon. Ferrara plays it through. It's uh, Petric is there and uh, Robertson just had to let that one uh, run out of play. Seferini who takes it. Perini again and uh, Juventus have another throw. goals in the space of two minutes uh, from Ravanelli and Conte in the earlier stages and they finished Rangers off uh, third from Del Piero has uh, made the task impossible and uh, Juventus have another corner kick so three minutes till half time as uh, Del Piero delivers the cross and Rangers under pressure Right gets it away, and it's uh, Gorham again who has to make the save. And it was Antonio Conte. He 
He scored out of the second goal. Goff got his head to the ball, and then it was Stephen Wright. And uh, Conte brought out the save from Andy Gorham. This is Del Piero. And Craig Moore filling his jersey, but uh, play continues. Sparara for Ravanelli. Petridge is there, cuts it out well. This is Cleland. Goff. That one runs away from McCoyst. So you really wonder what options there are to uh, open to Walter Smith as half time approaches. Ian Durant uh, certainly has done well in Europe uh, for Rangers over the years. So the other players uh, on the bench John Brown, Neil Murray, and Gary Bowen all more noted for their defensive qualities. Rangers making the best of it's been a torrid evening for them so far. Again, you back to start the throw deep in Rangers territory. It was uh, Sergio Porini pushing forward. Bishop sent it through, it's left by Del Piero. Lovely movement again. Ravanelli driving it through. Well, great movement again between the two strikers. Delightful play initially by Del Piero, allowing the ball to run through to Fabrizio Ravanelli. The, the two front guys, Jerry, have got a great understanding. And that's the second time that there has been a dummy and allowed it to go through to his partner. And the first occasion they played a 1-2 and this one, Ravanelli went all the way and had a shot with his left foot. Uh, that obviously comes with confidence in playing with each other, but there, there, there is definitely a, a natural understanding between them. The Rangers trying to get forward through Salenko, and uh, the referee awards the free kick just outside the penalty area. And the Rangers could get something back in this uh, final minute of the first half, but perhaps give them just a bit more to look forward to. To come out for the second. So again, it's a wasted opportunity. Ball played beyond all of the Rangers players and got the defensive to move forward now. They've got to get themselves back. So we're now into stoppage time in this first half as uh, the Ventures get the free kick and take it quickly. It's Conte playing it through the offside flag as I've against Del Piero. And then they got him trying to get Rangers going now. Alan plays it short to McCall. Led by Jury to Stephen Wright. Again, Wright is getting players. Goes down quickly. Indication it's Torricelli. A little help from Deschamps. So Joe, we're, in, uh, we're into stoppage time. Now, your thoughts on this first half? Well, as I said, the first 20 minutes in any game is important, especially a big night late tonight. And I thought really the Rangers had weathered the storm with the help of Andy Gorham, but unfortunately two goals coming so quickly has really killed the tie. The third one has really sealed it. Uh, Rangers haven't really had an opportunity to get back into the game. There was one which could have resulted in a chance when Robertson went up. He had, he had the option to play, I think it was to Selenko or Ali McCoy, and he failed to do so. A goal then, or a goal just before half time, would maybe have given them something to live on as it's happened, it's 3 nothing, and Juventus are back again in control of the game. I thought they slackened off a little bit, uh, but as it is now, they've got a breather and they've come back and they look as if they could go and, and score another one. So, Ciro Ferrara, who took a knock uh, back uh, on his feet. I think it must, work, must be reminded as well that uh, Rangers haven't been helped by players who who were bought. Uh, players like Gascon and Rauder to come and play in an arena like this. Certainly tonight is, is one night they could have done with them. So the half-time whistle has sounded. Uh, Richard Goff uh, was getting just a bit uh, angry there with uh, Ravanelli. But uh, the referee has sorted that out. But... Uh, Rangers really up against it. Uh, brilliant performance from Juventus. The goals from Ravanelli and Conte two in a couple of minutes. And then Del Piero scoring a spectacular third. The halftime score here in Turin is Juventus 3, Rangers 0. Welcome back, everyone. 
And uh, as the teams come back onto the field, there's uh, Del Piero. Uh, John Brown has uh, come out for Rangers for this second half. And, uh, no doubt uh, Walter Smith will be hoping that uh, his experience can uh, stem the tide. But uh, there's absolutely no doubt that we are watching one of the world's great quality sides tonight. A uh, club with a great history. And in fact, in UEFA's all-time uh, European club table, Juventus hold third place behind Real Madrid and Barcelona. And from a Scottish point of view, uh, Rangers are 13th and uh, Celtic 16. So it's still nil-nil in the other game at Dortmund as uh, the second half gets underway. You see there that uh, Stephen Wright is the player who's gone off. And, uh, John Brown, who played such a major part uh, in Rangers' last run in the Champions League, has come into the fray. Uh, rockets and fireworks and flares uh, being lit all round at the Stadio Deli Alpi. The Juventus fans behind there, so. so this is uh, Conte. And, uh, John Brown making his presence felt as he went from there to challenge uh, Sosa. Still at Travanelli. Again, Rangers in difficulty here. Again, it's uh, Del Piero and, uh, trying to drag that ball onto his uh, right foot. And, uh, far side of the penalty area. And, uh, Rangers already know the consequences of that. And that's uh, a dreadful pass out of defence by Craig Moore. Travanelli tumbles. And that shot uh, takes a deflection. Antonio Conte it was uh, who struck it. the players filling the Stadio Deli Alpi. Uh, the offside flag is up there uh, as uh, Salenko breaks through. Well, Rangers have started positive enough, uh, just in the formation there. I mean, they've pushed uh, Gordon Jury further up the park to try and help Alan McCoy and Salenko. Uh, I, I just go back to the, the ball that was played by the boy Moore there in defence. That ball, it can't be lost there. Uh, when Rangers regain possession, they must play the best they can with it. They can't give silly, silly possession away. But, uh, once again, Rangers uh, using the three central defenders uh, at the start of the match and uh, now having to move to more traditional uh, back four and uh, one wonders if uh, Scottish teams can really cope with the system so much favoured uh, by so many on the continent but it's a matter now of uh, Rangers getting on with things as best they can and uh, John Brown is certainly a player of great spirit to hope that uh, he can fire them up sufficiently that they can get something back. There's Petrick striking that one, but uh, he didn't get the kind of break uh, that Ravanelli got in the first half when uh, the ball cannoned off uh, Craig Moore uh, beyond Andy Gorham. There's uh, no doubt that uh, Gorham's heroics in that first half kept the score down. It could easily have been five or six. Uh, Roberts with a long throw, the goalkeeper came towards it. This is Salenko now trying the effort, then comes John Brown. Brown at least making his presence felt uh, within the penalty area. And uh, Salenko has been caught uh, by the offside flag. Ali McCoy had pushed through as well. It, it was shown there just by a, a simple throw in, how much confusion. You know, just playing in, let's call it the British way, where you got a throw in, a corner kick, or a free kick, using the advantage that Rangers and none of the British teams have. What can result from it there? You know, you get an opportunity, even from a simple throw in, and Rangers have really got to try and capitalise on that. Every, especially every corner kick they get, uh, not to give it away lightly, to use it as best they possibly can. Well, 
uh, free kicks awarded to Juventus, uh, Deschamps. Uh, was taken out of the play. The referee, and, sorry, Jerry, the referee has implemented the law uh, to the letter, really. Every time there is a tackle from behind or even to the side that, that looks dubious, he's given the decision. And, and that is consistent in both ways. So the just players just a touch frustrated and that uh, initial free kick was given. Uh, you went to the uh, far outside of the Rangers penalty area. Again, it's within the range of these players. So that's uh, 50 minutes gone. Juventus continue to lead by three goals still. And uh, who knows what might come from this now. Even here, Jerry, although the ball is lacking quality, Ravinelli has actually come to the near post and then brought the Rangers defender with him and then just peeled out to get the header, which, we, which he's expected to come to the back post. A, a, another simple thing, but it creates an opportunity for himself. Unfortunately, the quality of the ball wasn't su sufficient to meet the run that he made. It was a similar move to the one that, uh, which brought him his goal against Stoya Bucharest, where Diali uh, had provided the cross for him. This is Craig Moore. This is McCall. Moore again. And Rangers being forced to backtrack. He's calling for the ball, but that's uh, played to Gorham. And the Rangers get possession. They find themselves very quickly. Slows down. This is McCoyst. Berlin tries to get forward. Loses it out to Torricelli. And uh, he tumbles, and the free kick is awarded. Lorena Torricelli. Certainly enjoyed pushing out of defence all evening from the very early stages of the game. Caught there by Richard Goff. So, Don Piero. Again, Bovering over the ball. The referee wants something to get on with it. Taking their time about things. Looks like off heading it away, not convincingly. Deschamps returns it. It's clear by Craig Moore. This is Petrich. Michelli sets it through. Piero wins beautifully there with uh, Hennebiel. El Piero with Cleland. Brilliant turn by him, leaving the Rangers player completely. And striking that one with the outside of his foot. And uh, just marvellous skills there uh, by Alessandro Del Piero. Taking on the defender, leaving him for dead, and then hitting a terrific ball across the face of the goal. Well, that was sheer quality. Uh, the only thing that didn't match was the final ball. Yeah, I did say terrific ball there. It was uh, rather gallus. He'd done the, the difficult part brilliantly and uh, struck the ball with the outside of his foot. Uh, the Juventus fans unhappy as their prize asset uh, is crashing to the ground. And the referee, well, he's shown a red card to Alec Cleland. Well, a night of disaster for Rangers. Gordon Jury booked earlier is out of the return tie in a fortnight's time against Juventus. So too is Alec Cleland. Alan McLaren is already suspended. So Rangers' night of war continues. 
Rangers reduced now to 10 men. Rash challenge going in from Alec Cleland on Del Piero, who just a moment or two earlier had turned brilliantly against him. He took him on again, and it was just too much for the former Dundee United player. The red card was shown immediately. And uh, Rangers can only hope now that they can keep this down to a reasonable scoreline. They're trailing by three goals to nil. Ravanelli, Conte and Del Piero all in the first half. So 55 minutes gone, still a long way to go in this night of torture for Rangers and the supporters. Ravanelli tries to turn, Jury's back defending. Salenko trying to get forward, John Brown runs in support. Brown hits the early cross, runs there much carefully by Angelo Peruzzi. He's had very little to do all evening, he wastes no time. Sporini takes the return from Deschamps. It's Deschamps again, Avanelli trying to force his way through. He does well under pressure. Del Piero hits another win. Delivio tries to lay it off. But uh, fortunately for Rangers, it falls into the path of Richard Goff. He picks out Salenko. Jury is in support. This is Gordon Jury. Again, there are four defenders back. McCoy is very much in his own in the middle. It's laid off by Salenko. Petric moves through. Moving around for some options, he plays it to McCall, this is Salenko, he's challenged by Ferrara, that's a free kick to Rangers just outside the penalty area, so perhaps a chance for them here. Sends out his uh, substitutes to warm up. That's uh, Pesotto. Sends up to Pesotto. He's a left sided defender. So John Brown stands over the ball. Petric has uh, pushed well forward. Goff's just outside the area. It's John Brown who strikes it's deflected. And that's a corner kick to Rangers. John Brown instilling a bit of spirit as he's coming on in this uh, second half. And Goff comes forward, but uh, that's Conte who's getting out of the way. It's uh, driven in by John Brown. Breaks away to Jury. It's laid off to Stuart McCall. Goff's forward again. Uh, easily taken in the end by Peruzzi. Again, waste no time. He sends it out to Del Piero. Lovely touch by him to Deschamps. Delivio is racing through on the right-hand side. It's played through towards Del Piero. It's uh, cut out there by Petric. Now it's McCall. This is Jury. McCoist. Jury again. He's nowhere to go except backwards. But uh, he does get the free kick. Jury challenged by Deschamps. And, uh, Juventus have it again. Uh, Souza. Deschamps. Del Piero is away to the left again. He's cutting inside. Rapinelli. Deschamps. Souza. Delivia calls for it. Here he is. Good running now on the right hand side by Torricelli. He delivers a cross. It's headed away by Goff. Back to Torricelli. It's a free kick to Juventus, David Roberts and the offender. So again, the set piece in that area which uh, could damage Rangers. And uh, Robertson charging into that one. Leading up to the free kick there, Jerry, I mean, it, what, what can happen when you're down to 10 men there and the opposition get a grip of the ball and pass and take it from one side to the other? I think Juventus demonstrated that. Over the 
the ball. And uh, the flag uh, goes up. So we just have uh, possession again. And uh, a moment which could have caused them further problems in this past. But uh, still they trail by three goals to nil. This is uh, Petrich. To find a way through. Now to Brown, Robertson starts a run. Brown tries to thread the ball through to him, but uh, here to the Juventus again. It's laid off by Delivio. This is Moreno Torricelli. Back to Delivio, who's kept that run going splendidly. And uh, Stuart McCall covered a fair bit of ground uh, to get that ball back to his goalkeeper. Again, Juventus looking confident in defence. It's uh, the Woods playing it through. Here he is again. It's Ferrara. Torricelli, Conte, Martinelli, the shot starts a run on the left hand side, he's running by the Frenchman, flipping the ball in, it's uh, taken though by Gordon Petrich, brilliant running that by Deschamps, here come Rangers now through McCall, this is Brown, through looking for the pace of Robertson controls the difficult ball well through now for Solenko and again Juventus have uh, plenty of cover this is where the, the danger is when the Rangers have forced themselves onto the attack they could be caught on the break uh, it's, it's hard enough when there's a level when you're a man down and you're trying to, to retrieve something from the game and you're pushing forward uh, Juventus and also get that extra player but also that extra bit of confidence and um, Rangers will, will need to be very careful they don't get caught on the break. Well, Salenko did well there to keep possession, now it's McCall, Brown runs in support, McCoyce is darting about in the middle trying to find some space but finding that almost impossible, it's Brown who lobs it in but uh, way beyond everyone, Jury comes running in at the far side but uh, Farini was there, however uh, the decision goes Rangers way. Uh, the referee is having a word uh, with Sergio Perini. Time to calm down. Meanwhile, it's Craig Moore to Gordon Jury. Rangers have plenty of players forward, but it's Ferrara who clears. This is McCall. But, uh, nothing in that one to worry Angelo Peruzzi. Stuart McCall is toiling a bit there, as you can see. While uh, Baruzzi retrieves the ball. He's now in the uh, pretty much the international scene as Angelo Baruzzi. Signed from Roma back in 1991. But, uh, had to serve a one year ban when at Roma for uh, failing a dope test. Uh, he was uh, taking slimming tablets, would you believe? With a nickname like Tyson. Here comes Juve again. It's uh, Souza. Just out of play now, and uh, Craig Moore quickly gets on with things, takes the throw. So Richard Goff, who stands it forward. Now it's Jury. Patrick to Brown. It's uh, Delivio. Salenko challenges. Torricelli, and he's given his goalkeeper something to do there. And uh, John Brown tries the first time effort there with the goalkeeper out of his goal, but a uh, handball against Ali McCoyst as uh, he tried to control that one. Well, certainly Torricelli put uh, his goalkeeper under unnecessary pressure, and uh, he gave the ball away towards uh, John Brown, but uh, Ali McCoyst, you see, clearly handled. So a change being made now. Uh, Delibio is going off, and uh, Giancarlo Marocchi is coming on. So Delibio's done a lot of good running. And certainly earned the salary tonight. 
So it's Marocchi, he's a midfielder. He was in the Italian squad for the 1990 World Cup. In fact, he made his international debut against Scotland in uh, Perugia when they met Italy there in 1988. It's a good fight to play that one through, but uh, again, uh, defenders all around Gordon Fury. So that's 65 minutes gone. And Juventus continue to lead by three goals to nil. Smith below. We'll be hoping that uh, things are still the same in Dortmund the last one out uh, there. It was a Dortmund nil, Sky nil. That could certainly be of some comfort for Rangers. It stayed that way. But, uh, the offside flag is up uh, against Ravanelli. I think they knew before the game that this was going to be the most difficult fixture uh, the Rangers would have to face. Uh, they were hoping they would get something from it, but as it stands at this moment in time, yeah, you have got to look at what's going on elsewhere, but Rangers have still got, still got uh, games where they can get the points and add up to what may be required to qualify for the later stages, and uh, what goes on elsewhere is important. At Dortmund, still another game to be played against the Germans. So not all is not lost, this particular game, uh, if Juventus don't get slack, and I think in, in the last five minutes they have been slack, uh, maybe just end up the way that a lot of people would have thought they would have done. Uh, but there's a long way to go in this uh, tournament yet. So uh, Dortmund will just have their one up. Dortmund one, Steyer nil. This is Rangers trying to claw something back though. And of course it's a very complicated procedure uh, at uh, the end of the groupings where uh, goal difference can come into place. So anything Rangers can get back here tonight. Or if you even keep it... Uh, but it's out at the moment, and that could prove important in the longer term. With Blackburn are trailing also. So, uh, it's been an inglorious Champions League for them, and they're facing their third straight defeat. Marcello Lippe will be a happy man. He read the right act after the weekend match, and he had the courage to leave out uh, the likes of uh, Takenardi, who's the international sweeper. He's obviously fired up his men. It was, it was the great spirit of the Juventus side which uh, carried them to the championship last season. The first in uh, nine years, the 23rd overall. There was a great spirit about them, very much embodied in uh, the alley. And you just wonder what might have happened uh, had he been on the field tonight. It's been a black enough night for Rangers, losing three goals and also losing Alec Cleland red carded in the second half and uh, Gordon Fury uh, misses the game so, uh, taking the throw in, he misses the game in a fortnight's time after the second booking You talk about uh, the last time Jerry that Juventus won the championship and they, they had a great team then and uh, it, is, it is a similar situation in that particular time Juventus supplied five or six players for the national team and it's and maybe it's not a coincidence, but in the last uh, one of the, the, the two games that they played against Croatia and Slavonia, that um, Rangers, uh, sorry, that uh, Juventus supplied six more players for that game as well. So they are a team that has emerged from that nine years for a club of this magnitude to go that length of time without winning the championship was, uh, was a terrible thing. But they seem to have built themselves a, a formidable team, not only in their own domestic league, but uh, as we can see here tonight in Europe as well. So it's Gordon Fury trying to get forward. And that ball uh, was deflected for the corner kick. The Rangers are waiting to make uh, a change. And it's uh, Neil Murray uh, who's about to come on. The linesman is uh, signalling to the referee that uh, Rangers want to make the change. It's Stuart McCall. Uh, he certainly looked to be in a bit of uh, trouble a short time ago. He was uh, struggling. So off goes McCall, on comes Neil Murray, and uh, Neil Murray is uh, a player who broke into the Rangers' first team during the last uh, Champions League run. So he comes into the fray now. And that's uh, the header going in from Petric, and uh, flying past the far post of uh, Peruzzi. Uh, Gordon Petric uh, always carries uh, a threat at set pieces. And they come in to attack this ball well. This is Robert 
Robertson. So headed away there by Gertrud. And uh, Salenko was happy to accept the throw-in. So that's uh, 70 minutes gone here at the Stadio Deli Alpi. Still 3-0 to Juventus. This is John Brown. Flipping it through, looking for Robertson, the header from him. It's picked up now by Torricelli. Through for Ravanelli. And he gets away from Kendrick. Goff comes across to try and provide cover. And Goff does just enough. And uh, Kendrick was completely beaten there by Ravanelli. Certainly had a quieter time in this uh, second half. But uh, as Joe said earlier, the more Rangers push forward, the more likely they are to be caught on the break. But we've got to try and claw something back here. It's a lead off by Conte. It's Torricelli. It's a free kick. The substitute foul there. Juventus again, it's Deschamps, Souza, lead off there by Conte, it's Deschamps, bring it through now looking for Ravanelli, Petrich is with him, that ball's out of play, and that's a goal kick, and Ravanelli pleads his case, but uh, not too strongly, he'll be a happy enough man, and he scored the opening goal after 15 minutes of the match. Uh, given away to Marocchi, there's a break on here, Ravanelli, Goff comes across to provide the cover, and there's a free kick uh, to Rangers, free kick against uh, Ravanelli. This is Murray. again just stringing the passes together Ferrara breaks out of defence now it's Brown for Rangers that's getting an awful lot of uh, David Robertson and uh, Torricelli and the pace and confidence to deal with that situation that's uh, Biakabod Borini back across to Sergio Porini. This is Deschamps. He's covered a lot of ground tonight. Set up by Del Piero. Porini. Yartabod. Del Piero trying to switch a play. It's headed down by Robertson. This is Brown. Petrich, made up by Murray, Brown again, picked up by Ravanelli. Uh, fortunately for Rangers, uh, Gordon Petrich was there. In a moment, uh, Jerry, uh, Juventus, obviously with 3 0 on. Uh, they can play the game any way they want. Oh, and here's another chance on, there's no flag against Ravanelli. And it's number four for Juventus, it's a second for Ravanelli. And again, a self inflicted wound. 75 minutes gone, and Ravanelli punishes a Rangers defence, which has been giving the ball away, just two up, 
claims for offside, but the flag stayed down. Well, we've spoken about Ravin Ailey and Del Piero all evening and uh, the work that they have done. And then they went into the manoeuvre together with their teammates. But that particular goal coming here, it, it, it's been no great play by Ravin Ailey. He's, he's executed it well, but there's been no real build-up. There's just been a, a lack of concentration in the Rangers' defence, and it's resulted in Ravin Ailey having the, maybe the easiest chance he's going to get for a long time. This uh, shaping as uh, Rangers' heaviest defeat in many years. I mentioned earlier that uh, they had uh, gone down 5 0 to Cologne. Uh, they'd been down 4 0 after 20 minutes in that uh, particular match. And here come Juventus again. Ravinelli will fancy his hat trick, but uh, that's Goff making a decent challenge. Played off by Murray to Moore. But uh, what we're witnessing tonight is the great gulf between the champions of Serie A and the champions of the Scottish Premier Division. Of that, there is no doubt. This is Salen. Looking for Jury, but the offside flag has gone up. I think you've got to expand on that as well. We were talking about the Glasgow Rangers Football Club here, but I think you've got to incorporate the teams in England as well. At this moment in time, over recent years, what we have is, is a goal, and uh, I don't think it can be ignored. You have teams, as we've explained, at Blackburn and also Manchester United. They really lack the experience until they, and then until they can get a good run in Europe and the young boys that are involved in those games can learn from that, then that goal is, is going to be continued. We're seeing a Juventus team tonight who uh, have really controlled the game at their leisure and that came about by putting early pressure on the first 20 minutes, getting a couple of goals and Rangers have conceded those goals. But over the last number of years, I think you've got to look at a lot, a lot deeper, and not only in our game, but in the British game as a whole. So while Joe was speaking, uh, Massimo Carrera came onto the field in the uh, place of uh, Sergio Porini. Carrera, defender, first of year, £2.5 million pounds from Barry, a few years back. This is Michon. Vanelli, Rocky, goes a straight, and it's a move for Rangers. Connie's forces the ball through, and uh, that was Murray sending it to Salenko. Jury's in the middle, the Coist is arriving. Still at Salenko. Richard Goff calls for it, that's deflected, and Rangers get one back. Well, Richard Goff coming through to support the strikers, shouted to Salenko to leave it to him. And with 78 minutes gone, she went as four, Rangers won. So some consolation for Rangers, that ball deflecting past uh, Ferruzzi. Goff racing through to support the strike force. Salenko was being forced across the penalty area by weight of numbers. You can see Goff there calling for it. And it come off uh, Ciro Ferrara. That's the goalkeeper. We're both striking it well enough, but uh, the deflection was that uh, beat the goalkeeper. So uh, Ferrara won't be too happy about that. mentioned earlier, there was a very complicated procedure at the end of all of this uh, where the goals against the score between the top sides are all taken into account. But uh, the last news we had was that uh, Dortmund uh, were leading Steyr by a goal to nil. And of course, uh, that starts to put them into a good position, having uh, managed the draw at Ibrox and Rangers still to go to Germany. Del Piero, who held uh, possession so well just a moment ago, tries to get back in the end of that one. This is Brown. Moore, looking for McCoyst. 
the Juventus again. Souza plays it through, another chance on here. And uh, Richard Goff, who scored for Rangers just a moment ago, did enough to block Del Piero. There are ten minutes left. Juventus are leading Rangers by four goals to one. This is Deschamps. Conte. So now through to Torricelli. Juventus happy just to knock it about. Ravinelli's complaining that uh, Petric uh, repeated him there. And uh, simply John Brown was taken out of the play. But, uh, just a little bit of uh, jostling going on between the two players. And uh, Ravinelli was not a happy man. Here come Rangers now. It's Salenko. Goff has pushed well forward again. Salenko topples and Rangers get the free kick right outside the area. Be a chance for another one here. So Petric starts to move forward. Bottles up there as well. Cesalenko moves uh, over the ball. Well, uh, could he show the skill of Del Piero? He just clips it forward. Uh, Gordon Jury, high went forward with John Brown was uh, cut offside. Uh, Brown goes in quite heavily on uh, Peruzzi and uh, the Juventus defenders uh, are not amused. So it was Gordon Jury who hit the high one and uh, Brown came thundering in. Well, there's nothing wrong with the challenge. Uh, as we've, we've seen in recent years, the, the game has altered a little bit and referees and officials have, have really swayed towards the protection of goalkeepers and whatnot, but the ball was there to be won. And uh, John Brown's gone. So on comes Alessio Taginardi. And it's uh, Conte who's uh, left the field. Just uh, 20 years of age, as I said earlier, he's now in the international team and one of the outstanding young defenders in Serie A. Ravinelli. It's just down by Jury. So Rocky lofting that one through. And uh, Craig Moore uh, made the challenge on Deschamps. And knocked to the face. Lofted through in his direction. He was uh, caught by Moore's uh, elbow. So it's Goff now who launches a high one forward. So he's just done by Salenko. This is Murray. Across to Jury. Goff. I think goes to Moore. So Goff again. Boyce gives chase, but uh, Ruzzi has the situation controlled. This is Sosa. Deschamps plays it through. It's uh, cut out by Petric, as uh, Takinardi trying to get forward. That's Neil Murray. Out top, Brown. Brown tries to drive away through, showing tremendous spirit and commitment, and the chance was almost on for Salenko. We're just under six minutes left. It's Gordon Judy for Rangers. This is Murray. Salenko. Salenko challenged all the way by Souza. And he has to settle for the throw. He's just in the line with the penalty area. Well, he's worked hard uh, like Salenko without uh, much reward tonight. It's been a difficult night for him and for Ali McCoyst. Goff is pushed forward again, gets a little touch at Salenko. Straight into the arms of uh, Peruzzi, who wastes no time. And it goes to Marocchi. This is Ravinelli. Marocchi again. Such a 
play by him. Picked up by Carrera. So as you can see, just under five minutes left. And uh, Richard Goff made a challenge there, and uh, the referee waves uh, play on. It was uh, Takenabe who was on the end of that one. Not looking too pleased. to Deschamps, Ravanelli, he'll fancy his hat-trick and uh, he has a crank there but uh, Goran was ready. So uh, Ravanelli uh, trying the effort. Four minutes left now, and uh, Ventus have the throw. And one by Deschamps. This is Del Piero. We're really looking for Deschamps, but uh, Neil Murray provides the cover. He promptly gives it away. It's cut out by Richard Goff. It's uh, Diakobod, he's holding it through. Juventus just strolling to victory through these last uh, few minutes of the match. It's a Salenko for Rangers. But, uh, there's no one out in that area. Joe, when you played against uh, this side in your days with Milan, they had the likes of uh, Cabrini and Tardelli, Sharia, Gentili, all great names, and uh, they've built another formidable squad. Yes, they have. Uh, the names you have mentioned, they were an incredible team uh, at club level, and as you say, most of them went on and won the World Cup in 82. Uh, and there were also uh, players like Platini and Boniak who played from as their foreign players. But, this team is a little bit early to see whether they can be made a, made a comparison, but uh, they've already won a championship, and now, obviously, the next honour in store for them is to try and win the European Cup in the, or let's call it the Champions League. And I think until they do that, really, to be made uh, equal to them it is a little bit premature. But certainly tonight, we'll have seen certain individuals in the team that, that could have got a game in that team, and certainly within the squad, uh, uh, we have maybe... Have you seen tonight that the squad that uh, Juventus is, is stronger and has been more equipped with the injuries that has been received? So it was uh, Del Piero floating in another one there, but it is a club with a uh, tremendous uh, history. 23 championships, as I mentioned earlier. They won the Champions Cup in uh, 85, although that uh, was in the tragedy of the Heisel Stadium. They dearly love to win it again in different circumstances. A cup of joy is how their uh, trainer describes it. That's what he wants at the end of this season. They also won the European Cup Winners' Cup in 84, the Super Cup that year as well. The three times winners of the UEFA Cup and uh, once uh, World Club Championship winners. That was in 85. So it really is uh, a remarkable history. And again, they're capable of mounting a major challenge. And when it gets to the later stages uh, against uh, the likes of Ajax, it will become very interesting indeed. Uh, here they come again now, it's uh, Marocchi, that's a good effort by him, as we enter the final minute of the match. So Giancarlo Marocchi, player that uh, was signed for a couple of million pounds. And they're trying the left foot shot. This, uh, this victory tonight uh, certainly puts Juventus in the driving seat and really can, they can decide themselves where they want to go and what they want to do. So the, the next game coming up uh, with Juventus and Rangers at Ibrox is, is, is maybe the, the most important game there is going to be for Rangers in this European League. Uh, and I, I honestly think it'll be a different game now. Uh, I think Rangers can impose uh, their game on them a lot more. 
And here's Ravanelli trying to get that hat trick as we move into injury time. But uh, Gorham reacting. I think they can impose their game a lot more than they had the opportunity tonight. And hopefully that they have the players who have been injured and unavailable for them will be ready for them because it, it is going to be a big game. But as we've seen in the past, in, 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 in recent past, with games like against Marseille and whatnot, uh, the Rangers in their home ground with a crew behind them. Well, Rangers having to defend desperately, Joe. Yes, they have. And let's hope it, uh, it, it finishes as it is and uh, we don't concede any more goals because, uh, as you say, we don't know what's going to happen at the end up with the, the goal difference. It's Juventus, it's Del Piero again, another tempting ball into the middle and uh, by Andy Gorham. So the celebrations uh, begun all around us, the huge banners, the flares, and the chants from the, well, the Rangers fans. They're uh, getting behind the team in these uh, closing seconds. But uh, they know they've been up against uh, something a bit special tonight. journey home for a lot of them uh, later on tonight this is Sosa Torricelli who's in a splendid match and the forward that's uh, headed away by Robertson this is Deschamps it's been another outstanding performer tonight in the midfield for Juventus and the final whistle sounds a comprehensive victory for Juventus, a real lesson in European football for Rangers. Two goals from Ravinelli, one from Conte, one from Del Piero, and some consolation for Richard Gall. The final score here in Turin is Juventus 4, Rangers 1.